and we found a suitable place it's going to be a bit of a walk down there and uh, it looks like Ben from the BBC is already doing his business <laughs> <laughs> Snoopy ready for his voyage and that's probably where we go from this is where we're going. I'm hoping you're going to join us. But I am. I'm going to go in as far as, as far as BBC Health and Safety will allow me. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, I, I expect you to be further out than me all the time. Near the pub. Right, OK, this is what we can love to drop in. Because if that rudder gets bashed... Right, that's working still. Good. OK, we're going to go for it. Here are dear. Um, no thank you. <laughs> How do you feel now? I feel a lot better in the next few minutes if it gets away. And it looks as bad it might do. Obviously we've got hardly any wind. But it's forecast to come up stronger and away from the beach. So the first question Fine height. If it makes it, how, how, how are you going to feel if you become the world record breaker? Uh, well, quite frankly, so far, it's only got to survive as true to its start line, south of Ireland, and it has done better than most of the others, if not all the others. Uh, obviously, if it survives a month, and it's still going in roughly the right direction, that's getting better. Um, question of what record, then? The, the record that's been set by all these other international teams is, you know, from a place south of Ireland to near the Bahamas. But at the end of the day, it's not really any fun unless you go from coast to coast, is it? Uh, particularly if you've got a camera man and the water. You don't look very wet, actually. <laughs> I'm too wet. Yeah. <laughs> My boots are full. <laughs> right. But he's looking good. He's definitely going out. Right. Yeah. Can I take a photo yeah. doing a close yeah. up? All right. We've got Joe Public here as well. There we go. We're <laughs> we, for the band we, we, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, we kept fairly quiet about it because we didn't want to find the roadblock on the way down. And uh, there we go. Well, that's good. He's actually he's actually trying to get out. This is Tim from BBC Radio Solon. <laughs> Hello. Tim is the guy that lost one of my GPS bottles a year or two back. <laughs> to be, to be fair, I, I, I face the blame fully on the uh, on the design of the bottle. I'm oh, sure really? I followed really? all the instructions and charged it correctly. Oh, okay, okay, right. So I think you lost the bottle. Yeah, but he, he chickened out of coming into the water with me <laughs> with the cat with a microphone when we launched today. I stood at a safe distance, as, yeah. as my health and safety executive would want. Right, that that'll be enough enough right. incriminating video for now. Right.